When you're doing the online training course or you attend an in-house training session, we teach you how to create your own custom menu. As you can see, there is a toolbar I've created, or you can customize the custom menu itself to add your commands to the custom menu, or alternatively, you can create shortcut keys. So if I go down in the list, as you can see, there's a list of your hard-coded shortcut keys, and then at the bottom, you get your user-defined shortcut keys. Now, as you can see, G, I've assigned G, for recent commands. Now what that means is that previously, if you right click in your command line, Caddy will always display your recent commands as well as your most used commands, as well as on the CSM. If you right click, you go down to recent, Caddy will show you the last 10 recent commands. So I'm gonna show you now where's the setting. I've assigned G, so that means as soon as I'm gonna press G on my keyboard, Caddy will give me my list of my recent commands as well as my most used commands. So the setting itself, going to double check under my environment settings so you're going to go configure environment settings in this dialog we go down to recent frequent and then you'll see there's an option that says show frequent commands set to yes and show recent commands so if you want to switch off one of those you can just double left click on the yes and you can change it at the bottom to no i want to see both so i'm going to keep them to yes and now i'm going to show you how to assign it to a shortcut key so you right click where there's no toolbar we go down to customize and in this dialog, we're going to go to keyboard and then under my category, we go down all the way to the bottom, you will find the invisible caddy. And then the commands itself, as you scroll down, we go down to R, the QR for recent, and as you can see, G is already assigned. The R is already assigned because R is for refresh or regen. So if you're going to make use of a key that's already assigned and you say assigned, caddy will tell you, cannot use this accelerator, it's already assigned in the caddy.ks file. So if you would like to stick to the R, then I would say replace it with, say for instance, Shift R or Control R. But I would like to make use of a single key, so I'm going to assign G. I know G is not assigned, so I'm going to say assign. Caddy accept the assignment. I'm going to say close. So every time I'm going to press G on the keyboard, Caddy will give me my list of last 10 recent commands as well as my most used commands. Now, where's that handy? Um, not always is that you've got all your commands assigned on your toolbar or on your custom menu. It may be that you're following a path, like in this exercise, we're gonna go apps, SARC 2D, we go to plan, I'm gonna make use of calculate room size. Okay, it brings up the dialogue, I'm gonna say okay, and I'm gonna indicate the area I'm gonna measure, P for end, and I place my room size. Now I'm gonna press escape. Now, we also teach you that if you press spacebar, it means repeat previous command. But now I'd like to make use of another command, so I'm going to say enter text. I would like to add text, I'm built in cupboard, BIC, I'm going to say OK, and I'm going to place my text. Now I'd like to add my room size in this room. Now instead of going that long path, apps, SIR, 2D, all I have to do is I can just press G on the keyboard and you will see there's my room size. So I'm going to click on the command. Once again, I say OK, indicate first point, next point, if or end, because this is a square room size, and I can place my text. Now I like to place or add text, so either I can make use of my shortcut key on my toolbar, or even for that matter, if I press G again, you will see that your text editor will be in the list as well. So now I can say BIC as well, I'm going to say OK, and I can place my text. That's the advantage of assigning your recent commands as well as your most used commands to a shortcut key on your keyboard.